Hello everyone, my name is Shambhu. We hope you all are doing well. So basically, now today we are going to discuss regarding the inter-thread event communication. Now first of all, listen to me that inter-thread communication is one different thing and event is one method that actually comes under this inter-thread communication, right? So first of all, we'll be seeing that what are both these terms and what they actually mean, what is the use of them in Python programming. And after that, we'll be seeing one program regarding the same. Right. So let's begin now with the first of all with the inter-thread communication. I'll be telling you first that what does this actually mean, right? So sometimes one thread may be required to communicate to another thread depending on the requirements. Okay, let's say we are having a thread, one thread, okay, and we are having one another thread as well. So sometimes it may happen basically, uh, but let's say we are having some requirements. So depending on that requirements, one thread, let's say, may be required to communicate to the other thread. Right, when one thread may be required to communicate to the other thread, depending on some requirements that we actually we have, this procedure is actually called as inter-thread communication. So communication between two threads is actually called as inter-thread communication. Right, I hope first of all I just made this thing very clear that what do you mean by inter-thread communication? Okay, this is the sentence, fine. Now, now comes regarding the event method that we have here. Now I'll be discussing that what is this event method actually and why is it actually used for. Fine, so event method, the event object is considered or recommended as the simplest communication process or system between any threads, okay? So this event method which we are going to deal with today, writing out a program as well. So this is actually considered as a very simplest communication process between any two threads. Uh, I'm just not saying two, between any threads actually, okay? Whenever you just want to communicate between any threads, so this event is a method which is the very simplest and the easiest to deal with, okay? So this system works on two conditions where the event object is enabled means set or disabled means scale. So basically we have two conditions when you just want to work with the event method. So in that particular, we have two conditions here. The first condition goes that uh, event object is enabled that that means it is set so set is a function which means that event object is enabled and where you just use out the clear function so this means that object is actually disabled right so whenever an object is enabled it will be disabled as well right so set is for the enabled one and clear is for the disabled one right so i hope i just made these two things very clear to you that first of all what do you mean by inter-thread communication and at the second place that what does this event method actually why this you why this actually we just use out this event method and what is it actually used for right these two things are i hope very much clear to you now let's move on writing out the program for this event method okay so first of all what i'll be just doing is that i'll be importing out the time module and my threading module fine so for that i'll be just writing here import and because time is the module which actually I'll be using throughout the program to use, right? So, so from this time, I actually uh, you want to use out the sleep function. So in that case, I have simply imported this time module, right? And second, I'll be importing out the threading. So import threading, right? So this threading is basically the threading module which we actually have. Just uh, like in Python 3, we use the threading module. Previously in the Python, we use only threads. We used to import the threads. But in the Python 3, that threads actually do not work. So in that case, we just need to import out this threading module. Okay, this is the idea. Now, let me just make out a class here. Okay, now let me just make out a class. And let's say my class name is, let's say, uh, Flyer. Okay, my class name is let's say flower. Okay, now in this flower class, basically what I would just do, I want to make out a function here, the method. We are like whenever we just make out a function inside the class, we just call that as method, right? So I am making out a method inside this class, right? So def, I would just write def. And let's say I just want to write out the color. I just want to make out a function that is color. Right? So self will automatically be passed inside this function because I am making this function inside my class. So whenever we just make out any, any of the functions inside a class, so self, the constructor which we are having at the self, it is automatically passed. Right? This is the idea. Now let's say I just want to print out some statement here. So I would just write print and I would just write let's say the, the color, the color of for the color for the flower, the color for the flower is, um, and let's say I would just write here, the color for the flower is white. Okay, so let's say this is the print system, print statement, which I actually want to write out here that the color for the flower is white. Okay, okay, let me just make that as a small here. 
fine now this is done what i would just do is that i would actually uh, like uh, take make out the object for my class which i have actually taken here fine so okay in uh, okay before making out that object what i would just do here is that i would be writing event underscore object okay event underscore object dot wait and wait is which yeah, actually one of my functions which i have actually made out here okay event underscore object dot wait fine event underscore object will be de declaring this thing afterwards in our program okay but for right now i just understand that this is actually a type of a variable which i have taken okay so this will be the uh, object which i will be defining inside the main function okay let me do that as well here so i would just write here main and inside this i'll be writing uh, i'll be writing here event underscore object okay event underscore object and that will be equal to my threading so here i'll be using out my threading module dot and i'll put out a dot here and then i'll be write, using here as event okay event is my function which i am actually using out here Fine. Now I'll be proceeding on with my program only, which actually I have here. Fine. So this is uh, done actually. Now I will just come on to okay, just one second right here. So I just used out this wait one, and now I would just write print, and let's say um, I would just write got the flag. Okay, got the flag. Okay, this is the statement where actually I just wanted to print out. So I just written out those things. Fine. Now. I would make another uh, function into my class as well. So I, let's say I just uh, made out the color. Now I would just make out the kind. Okay, that what kind of flower that is actually. Okay, inside the bracket itself will again automatically be passed because this is a method. This is a function which I am actually making inside my class. So there is no issues in saying this thing that says the constructor which we have here that will automatically be passed inside this. Fine. I would be using here the sleep function. Time dot sleep and let's say I just want to give the time for the sleep as well. So first of all, my first function will run according to the calling which I would be doing out uh, like downside into my main function. So as soon as I call out the function, that function will be called and whatever the sleep time is given in that particular function, it will stay for that sleep time. It will like it will stop for that particular time and then result me the output downside, right? So I'll be adding out my print statement here that um, okay. So the kind of flower, and let's say the kind of flower is an. I will just give it out as let's say lily. Okay, the kind of flower is lily. Fine. Now I would just again come down and print. I would just print out that. Um, here I'd be writing out. Um, okay, I'd be writing that. I want to buy this. I want to buy this, right? Let's say these are the two statements which I written inside this kind function. Okay, so print the kind of flowers lily, and second I want to buy this. Okay, and simply I'll be using here event underscore object dot wait. Okay, that is w a i t, and put out the brackets like this because wait is one of the functions, right? Now I would just come on to a new line, and my next function name would be def buy. Okay, my next function name would be buy. Again, the self is passed. Now I would just not out, not repeat out the reason that why it is again passed because you know this thing, right? Fine. Now inside this, I'll be again adding some time dot sleep and let's say now I just want to give out the time dot sleep as um, okay. Let me give it as seven seconds. Just one one more thing to make sure here that whatever the time, whatever the number you are actually giving inside the sleep function that is being taken in the seconds. Right. So here above four seconds has been taken. Now here downside seven seconds have been taken. I would use out my print statement, and inside that I'd be writing that I want I want Lily from the buyer. Okay, I want Lily from the buyer. Let's say this is a sentence which I actually uh, wrote out. Let me come down. Fine here. Okay, I just wrote out the sentence, and now what I would just do is that I would uh, use out my set function. Let me just go above first of all and see that what is it used for. So event object is enabled means set. Okay, so whenever we just use out the set function, so that means that my event object is actually enabled, and this is actually my event object. Right? I would just come onto a new line, and here I'll be using event underscore object dot set, and I'll put out the bracket like this. That means I have enabled out enabled out this particular thing. Okay, 
now it's the time for making out the object for my class i've just come out here and okay my class name was one so let's say a is the object which i have made here and class name was actually okay i need to check that it was one right so that was uh, okay oh, sorry that was flower actually oh i'm sorry so i would just write here let's say uh, let's say a capital f okay and the object and the class name is flower so i just made out the object for my class that is flower okay that i have done out here now i would just come inside my main function here i have already declared de defined out this event underscore object now what i would just do is that i had made three functions so for all of these three functions i would be creating out the threads okay so this is my first thing that i would be doing out here okay so let's say my first thread is t1 okay t1 is equal to with the help of my threading module i would be using here the thread and into the bracket i'd be passing out the target so my target would be first of all i'd be writing out my class name that is flower and uh, okay first of all my class name okay not my class name i would simply use that with the help of the object only so f is my uh, uh, like uh, object for my class and my function is first of all i would use out this color function okay same t2 is equal to here i'll be using the threading dot thread into the bracket i i would be writing target is equal to and here i'll be uh, using out another thing that is f dot and my second function was kind right so i just use out that function time for making out my third thread so here i'll be using threading uh, okay just one second okay so here i'll be using threading dot thread into the bracket i'll be writing here target is equal to capital f and my function name now is by Right, so I just you call out all of these three functions here. Now what I would just do is that I would be starting out my threads. So that is my last step that I'll be doing. So I'll be writing t1 dot start. Okay. Then I'll be writing t2 dot start. Okay. And now I'll be writing t t3 dot start. So I have just started out all of my three threads, right? Now it's my time for running out my program. So here we go. Now the color for the flower is white. Okay. Now after four seconds, it will basically display me the another statement which I would be having here. Okay. So just wait for that. It will actually display you the another statement, whatever it is actually having here. Okay. Fine. So let that actually happen, and I I just need to go above first of all. So okay, it is time not sleep. Oh, okay. The color for the flower is white. Okay, first statement: the color for the flower is white. Okay, absolutely fine. Um, okay, just let me first close this out for a while here. Let me do the terminate thing, and okay, let me apply out some another time here. Let's say I would be giving the time as um, okay. Let me write it out here as let's say five, and let me give this as uh, let's say. Okay, and I'll be calling them uh, serial wise only, where I have just called the first one as the color second one as a kind and third one as the by right and after that i have just started out all of my three threads right now i would just again try to run it here for a while okay so it is showing me that the color for the flower is white okay my very first statement has been displayed here okay now after this basically as i have called out the second function that the kind of flower uh, here it goes that okay it is written that event underscore object dot wait so it will basically wait here for some time okay now basically wait was basically it just wanted to wait here for some time so that is why it is waiting right and after that it will display me the second statement that is got the flag okay after that it will uh like go for time dot sleep that is five then it will display me both of these statements right so this is how it is gonna work and this is how it is gonna be like uh, working right so basically now i would just try to run it here and as soon as i just run it see it just basically given me the output output the color for the flower is white after that it has got the color and now just have a look that i just got the rest of the two sentences as well that this kind of flower is really and i want to buy this out okay so these are the four statements which actually we wanted to be displayed right these are the four statements which we i want i would really from the bar right these are the five statements which we have written inside the functions and that are actually getting displayed here as an output right so now i hope very clearly that you have got the idea that how this is actually used right how what we just mean from um, interthread communication and what we just mean from event method right so these are the two things which we have discussed here right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care